Hello everybody and today in this fifth tutorial in our physics tutorial series we will be looking at significant figures. So what are significant figures? So you know when you've typed something into a calculator and you've gotten a massive ass number say eight decimal places or nine or ten or fifty three I don't know what your calculators are like and you've been told to display it in a certain way so in an exam you might be asked to display it to two significant or four significant figures what this means is that it wants you to take the first two values on the left and then do rounding and all sorts of stuff to give you an answer with just those two numbers so this probably isn't that clear but let me give you an example let's use pi 3.14159 for this for all intents and purposes at the moment say we want to round this to 3sf if we wanted to do three significant figures, what we do is we take into mind these four numbers on the left. We wouldn't display the fourth one, but it is important. The reason why it is important is that if it is five or over, it will mean that our third digit here is rounded up one. So if this was six, this would become five. But since this is one, it won't. So our answer will be 3.14. Like that. Let's, let's come up with another example. Let's do 3.783. 8. 3.783 ARZ, right. Let's do, let's do a 9 on the end here. And say the examiner wants us to round it to four decimal places. What we would do is we would take our five values here. Uh, we'd just write 3.78 to begin with. And since our fifth value here is above 5, we would round our 3 up to a 4. So it would be 3.784. Alright, let's do some proper calculations here. Say we want to work out the horizontal component of a massive, of a massive like, resultant force. Say, say it's 1,000 newtons. Or 1,000, no, let's, give, let's come up with a really complex number. Say 1,063.7 or something. And it's at an angle of maybe... Maybe say 74.5 degrees. This is a horizontal, so we use cosine. Watch the fourth tutorial if you don't get that. So, if we were to calculate that, we'd do 1063.7, assuming this is the hypotenuse of the triangle, multiply it by the cosine of 74.5, and that would give us a big ass number. It would give us 284.261. Six, oh, six. All right. So let's assume the examiner wants us to put this to four decimal places. So what we would do is we would take our five decimal places here. So then we've got two hundred eighty-four for definite. But then we've got our six here, and since that's above five, we're around our two to a three. So it's that that would be our horizontal component. However. Things get pretty ugly when we're dealing with massive numbers. So, say, I don't know, say say the battleship Bismarck is launched, say, three metres into the air or something and comes back down with a resultant force of a million and a half newtons. So let's do 1.5 times 10 to the 7, I think that is. Let me just check. I think it is anyway. That's 10 to the 7. Yeah, about 1.5 million that is. And we wanted to dis well, we displayed that to. That's just our standard form. And it hit at an angle at. Say it hit the water at an angle of 15 degrees. And we wanted to find out the horizontal component. So. I'm not bearing in mind the fact that it's going down. It's just, just to make it more. I don't want to make it too complex. So if we wanted to find our. Our component here, we do well that calculation there. It's the seven, and then we're going to multiply that by the cosine 115. So we've got a gigantic ass value here. That's a lot of eights. About that. So if we wanted to, let's say, let's say the examiner wants us to, this to three SFs. 
So this is where a lot of people trip up because of accuracy and whole numbers and or at least from what I've seen because people can't figure out that regardless of where the decimal point, point is it doesn't matter as long as it's the significant figures so if we're doing this to three significant figures we take this into account here so we display our first two here and then since this is over five we would round this up to five so that'd be five and then we just put zeros there so two three four five so that would be horizontal component roughly of this calculation here even if it isn't the best calculation so let me just confirm that no I'm not gonna bother confirming it so what's four, four, five, zero, zero. something about it doesn't look right um, zero, zero. What's that? So that's what, 145,000 is it? No oh, wait, it makes sense because... Well anyway, that's what the result in the calculation is. The calculation might be retarded, but still it comes out with an answer that's correct to our significant figures. So that was significant figures. Thanks for watching and all of that. And in the next couple we'll be covering something called SUVAT. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.